All right, everyone, let's go. Here we are, COTR Twitch. With me tonight is a guy I sometimes call Mike, but his real name is Mark. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hello. Hello, hello. I, I never mean to do that. It's honestly secondhand yeah. toque, Mark. Wandering toque, Mike. It's just, it's a lot of names to remember. I always say one day you'll get it right. I won't. I know I won't. <laughs> All right, we asked people what we should play tonight, and someone said they want to see some Heirs of Numenor. <laughs> what quests are these? So that's like the Morgul Vale, the Blood of Gondor. We could do Encounter at Mondin. Um, I don't think I've done that one. That's the easier one. That's the one with the fire. You know, mm, where we're I'm, trying to... I'm... I don't think I've done that, so I don't know it. Okay. I haven't done a lot of the Ares quests, but I don't mind doing whatever. Maybe we should take... I'm just looking here. Um, Steward Sphere is fun. Blood of Gondor. I haven't done that in forever. I don't even remember what that one's like. Which one of That's these? That's the one with the face down cards. Uh, I was it? gonna say whichever one that one is. I don't want to do it. The Morgul. That's the face down. Okay. And the Morgul Veil vale, is that the one where we're trying to climb up to the tower? Maybe I don't know if I've done that. One. But I, again, it's not like I wouldn't do it. All right. We we could very easily lose here. All right. Can <laughs> uh, people in the chat let me know if you can hear me? While I get this set up. Have anybody in here? We got two people in here right now. Is it showing? Oh, okay. But it is showing the stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good. Just getting set up here, folks. Lots of moving pieces. Alrighty. Um, well, you have it open. Can you hear it or no? I have. Oh, all here. good. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Yep. <laughs> How you doing, cool. Kevin? Good to see you, bud. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're going to play this Heirs of Numenor quest because we were asked to. Um, oh, hey, Mike's here. Oh, wait, that's you. That's me. I know. <laughs> I'm just messing. All right, so uh, I thought I would explain what my deck does in the coolest way possible. Here we go. New content that's going to be coming. Super excited for this. Here we go. COTR's newest feature to YouTube. All right, let's go with the new Cardboard of the Rings deck spotlight. I'm Chad, and this is a deck I built called Stand and Fight the Haradway. A link to this deck can be found in the description of this video. This is a Harad deck that does not use Steward of Gondor. It uses Kael, Arwen, and Spirit Glorfindel. The gimmick of this deck is to use Kael's ability, action, discard a Harad ally card from your hand to ready a Harad character in play, limit once per phase, and the spirit event, stand and fight. It costs X. Choose an ally with a printed cost of X in any player's discard pile. Put that ally into play under your control. It can belong to any sphere. What you do is you discard a Harad ally using either Kael or Arwen's abilities, and then you stand and fight to play it. Because Arwen can discard a card to gain a resource, you can generate up to six spirit resources by round two, allowing you to play any Harad ally from the discard pile, assuming you have stand and fight. Let's talk about turn one. I have found when I build a deck, I want to have a plan for turn one that involves questing and defense. Questing, you can send all three heroes for a willpower total of eight. Then, if you have to do a defense, discard a Harad ally to ready Kael, and he'll defend for you. Now you're going into turn two with a lot of resources, possibly a Harad ally in your discard pile, and most likely one in your hand. Round two, you should be able to play one of those big Harad allies, and then this deck is really off to the races. All right, the big three, Furial, Jubair, Yazan. If you get those three allies into play, your Harad deck has worked. This deck, in addition to the stand and fight, has a couple other ways to get them into play. 
You can give Kayil Elf Friend, and now Arwen passes her resources to him. He has a second ability. Resources from Kayil's resource pool can be used to pay for Harad allies of any sphere. By passing the resources to him, he can pay for Furial or Yazan, or even help pay for Jubair with his own resources. Speaking of your hand, in your opening hand, you want to see the Elf Lights. Light of Valinor and Elven Light. Elven Light, of course, is the card that pairs well with Arwen's ability, discarding it to gain a resource, spending a spirit resource to pull it back into your hand, plus another card, and Light of Valinor allows Glorfindel to quest without exhausting. Other cards to see in your opening hand are Stand and Fight, and one of the big three, Harad Allies. There's a third way to possibly generate resources to pay for all these Harad allies, the Ziggy Stargazer way. Use Stargazer to look at the top five cards of your deck, rearrange them, and then discard two with Ziggy and put those resources on Kayil. This deck really is easy to pilot once you get rolling. You're either going to be using Stand and Fight or Ziggy or a combination of the two to generate lots of resources, getting all three big Harad allies into play, plus the other minor Harad allies. For questing, you got Gladriel's Handmaiden. She'll quest for two and also reduce your threat. Elrond's Council will give you a willpower boost, but more importantly, reduce your threat. Kiel's Headdress gives you the amazing ability to give all of your Harad characters plus one willpower, plus a refresh action. Do not forget this, it's easy to forget. Exhaust the Headdress to shuffle the topmost Harad ally in your discard pile into your deck. So even if you've already played your stand and fights, you can still get Harad allies back into your hand to pay for them the normal way. I really don't have much more to say about this deck. I'll just go through some of the extra cards. Elven Jeweler is one copy. Gives you a chance to discard some Elven Lights to play them or a Harad ally. Dunedain Remedy is your healing. Desperate Defense is great with Jubair for handling a big attack. And of course, it's a spirit deck, so there is three copies of a Test of Will. I hope you give this deck a shot. I've played it quite a few times. I haven't lost with it yet. I have found that it's quick start with the three powerful heroes and being able to get at least one hero level ally into play by turn two has made this a very fantastic deck and I look forward to hearing how your playthroughs go. Thank you for listening and watching. Take care everybody. Bye bye All right, so there it is. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some really awesome videos uh, on some of the decks we make, but we're also going to do some other stuff. But this is all the brainchild of Mark. This was his idea. So, Mark, please, uh, why don't you maybe say some of the other stuff that we're going to be doing with this? Sure. No, we. Uh, I just wanted to do some more deck oriented videos is already quite a bit out there chris jackson has his deck tech series and i know chris when he has time uh does his own videos on his c-stand channel but wanted to get some sort of like bite-sized four to six minute kind of deck tech videos that people can watch on a short lunch break or in the morning before going to work or blah 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 and so like chad said a lot of the decks that we built uh some decks that we maybe see out in the community uh, kind of harkening back to the deck spotlight that Chad, did you help write that or was that also Chris Jackson? Um, that was on the website. Yeah. I can't I, remember who did that. I never wrote any, but I was kind of like just overseeing it. Okay. But uh, some sort, oh boy, I think Wandering Took might have helped with that. This is how I, I get confused so, yeah. between the oh, two yeah, of you. Oh yeah, some sort did too. And yeah. uh, there was somebody else and I'm so sorry, I forget who it was. It was a while ago, but I, I loved, but yeah. I loved doing that. Yeah, and then uh, Chad and I were talking, and since the podcast has been catering, uh, at least throughout bits of the show or whatever, you know, kind of bringing in more of the new players, trying to create some deck tech videos that don't always cater to those who have all the cards or up to date with the meta, you know, trying to generate some resources for those players that enter into the game and don't know how to beat Journey Down the Anduin, and they don't have to watch like a two-hour video or stuff like that. So we're, we're playing around with that kind of stuff. A uh, few other YouTube ideas in the pipeline that we're still working on, but this will be a cool thing to do in between podcast episodes and a good way to, if you don't, if you don't have time to watch like a Twitch stream like this, you can see what the deck does uh, on your spare time. Yeah, man. I mean, we couldn't do it without you. This is all Mark. Like all I did was record my voice. He does all the <laughs> graphics 
And uh, each video is getting better, too. Like, you're coming up with new ways to do it. So I love it. I think it's amazing um, yeah, and, it's, and it's fun. fun. <laughs> we're, um, we're, we're getting lots of comments from listeners uh, that are just joining the game. And they're asking us questions and they're enjoying when we look back. And so we're trying to keep that good balance between the veterans and the noobs. And uh, this, I think, is going to be a great tool to uh, help some of the new players. And It uh, was hard to uh, I, I tried to build a core set deck, you know, because you and I were talking. I tried to build a, what did I make it? Well, at one point I tried to do one with all the Harad cards and one core set. Mm -hmm. And even then, actually, there were some issues of like trying to just put in filler to make a 50 card deck. Sure. Um, but I tried to do, it was Aowen, Barovor, and Denethor. I can't remember who the other hero was, but it was. I'm glad I came into the game when I did. I can see how people were starving for for new cards or sure. a second or third core set because it was it was hard. <laughs> no, no, it's 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 not easy. All right, so you know what? I was my like, there's oh, like two copies. Ugh. I was just saying, like some of the cards only had like two copies of things. I was like, oh, yeah. You just you assume you have three, then you're like, oh crap, are you kidding me? Yep. Well, and it also I think makes Stewart a little more palatable because it's yep. like, man, you need it. You just don't have the tools. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So you saw a cool video about my deck. Uh, I'm going to mulligan because based on what that video said, this is not a good hand. And uh, why don't you tell about <laughs> talk about your deck here. So this deck, I was going to bring a trap deck uh, here tonight, but I wanted to this is look at some community decks. Again, going to the videos, wanting to see what decks people have built out there. And I was looking at some heroes that I haven't seen a lot. And I thought about Bard the Bowman because, you know, we have the... Ravanian deluxe expansion coming out sometime this year and I was like I only played with them once or twice uh haven't really played with them at all so I was just looking through and I cannot remember the gentleman's name let me see if I can find her real quick can you make your deck but visible there some... is my deck not oh my cards yeah um visibility everybody it was someone who went to the lore of middle earth uh deck or lore of middle earth event in Germany Mm, jealous. Let me see. Here we go. It was from the if I can say, I don't know if I want to say the name right, the Mormigil. Oh sure, 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 sure. I've seen that person yep. online. Yep. Yep. Good player. Uh, this should be a good. And it guy. seems like everything went well. Yeah, I mean, uh, and, and his thought process was actually kind of neat. He basically said how Bard the Bowman think of his ability as a restricted attachment. Yeah. So he said, you know, sure you can use Legolas for a Rivendell blade, but now you've already. You've already um, you've already used one restricted slot. So it was like, think of this as a free one, and you can essentially have two more abilities. So I thought that was neat. And yeah. Baragond is good as always, and who doesn't love Tactics AO? Well, you're going to do well, because Heirs of Numenor is all about mono decks. So you're already... Oh, um, that's right. <laughs> you're one step in the right direction, and your opening hand is fantastic. My second mulligan is worse. Ooh. I think it's worse. You can worse. do a third. <laughs> Oh. oh, this is bad. Judge one more. Just just give me one of the cards I need. There it is. I just see one Elven Light, and I feel like better already. It's like, now at least I have some card draw, so I can draw what I'm missing. All right. You need it. I feel a little better. Okay, uh, so I did the setup. Here's the story. Lord Alcaron, remember that jerk? All right. And Faramir have been captured. Yeah, right. By forces from Minas Morgul, you pursue their captors, captors eastward into the dreaded Vale. Guys, I'm going to probably do a lot of slip-ups tonight. Uh, my daughter, my youngest daughter, had her tonsils out today, and we had to be at the hospital at 6. So uh, yeah. they moved it up, like, last second. We were going to have to be there at 8, and then it turned into 6. And, yeah. So, anyway, in the morning, a.m. Anyway, kind of tired. She did well. She's doing fine. Um, okay, so we did the setup. Advance. Okay. Oh, here we go. You are betrayed. Lord Elkaron has revealed himself as in league with the enemy. A large Uruk, Marzag, has been left in charge of finishing you off while Faramir is rushed ahead to the dead city. Marzag cannot leave play unless destroyed. If he's defeated, advance to the next stage. Oh, yeah, this is the one with lots of... Uh, that's right. We have to beat a lot of uh, main enemies. Okay, so to the tower. To the tower cannot leave the staging area. 
We remove Faramir from the game. I guess he was a... Uh... Is he underneath the objective? Nope. He's, he's removed from the game. He's somewhere. He's not yeah. even there. And um, if 10 or more progress tokens are on to the tower, the players have lost the game. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. This is the really good side questy quest. Because there's no progress to be made. Oh, that'd this be, is I like, did actually put in one side quest. This is like the I epitome. edited this guy's deck once. <laughs> All right. This so, is like the epitome of a side quest that. quest. All right. All right. Control N. Whoop, I was in the wrong window. That's all right. There we go. All righty, what do I got here? I got my Elven Light. So, of course, if you listen to the video, I either you stand and fight or I um, pass resources. But since the only big Harad ally I have is Jubair, it's actually perfect because he's the easiest one to put into play. So I'll discard that. Okie dokie. Um... I cannot get him into play this round, though. So what do I want to do? We're going to be up against two, three, four, five. Um, I feel like I have, I have shield on Baragon, by the way. <laughs> hey, Brewer Bear. How you doing, buddy? Um, all right. So you got the Rohan Warhorse. You're you're all set. Like your uh, yeah. your opening hand <laughs> was great. I'm going to save my resources and get Jabir in next turn. Wait. Yeah, that'll be good. Does this have treacheries where you could lose all your resources? No, mm, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah, I am, aren't I? Um, do I want to get the refugee in? I'm confused. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'll play the Handmaiden, and you can drop your threat by one. Oh, sweet. Get you under yeah. that 30. All right, let's quest. So I'm going to drop by three. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I probably should actually be lower. It probably doesn't account for Aowen's No, it doesn't. Does it? No. I know. That's why I was kind of scared when I looked at your... Uh... Two, three. There we go. Spring is almost here. Do you know that on Saturday, parts of Michigan... Look at the weather maps. Parts of Michigan are supposed to get 30 inches of snow. 30! That's gross. 30! One more time. 30! Stupid. All right. Tell us how you're really feeling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I raise my threat? No. All right. So I'm sending nine. I got four. All right. Are we over sending? Uh, no. no, I think we're good. Because you, your four doesn't even cover what's there yet. No. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we're good. All right, here we go. Uh, card number one. The Morgul Road. Uh, okay. Does nothing at the moment. Card number two. Ooh. A one threat enemy. After any number of progress tokens are placed onto the tower, deal him a shadow card. Doesn't seem that bad. All right. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We, we, uh, we did fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got to beat this guy after he attacks. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck. I'm gonna have to go through this quest slow, everybody, because I have not played it in a while. Um, if this card's an enemy, put it in play. Oh, okay, so he like rallies enemies around him. Uh, he does not need to come down yet. What's it gonna take to kill him? Nine. He gets minus two from uh, Bard. If I help. So you only really need seven. You'd have one, two, three. Yeah, we're not there yet. We are not there yet. All right, let's travel. Uh, let's see. After the Morgul Road leaves play, the first player may remove one progress token from two the tower or deal in damage to an enemy. So let's wait. Let's wait on that one. Probably go to the Veil. Vale. Yeah, at the end of the round, each player returns one enemy engaged with him. Okay, that seems pretty good. I will engage this guy. So you can kill it, right? Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, de I'll defend with... Uh... There we go. Shadow. Attack enemy gets plus one for each shadow card. So he's a four. And there's no other effects right now that put resources on the tower, right? No, no. I'm looking. Okay. I'm, I'm like scrolling everywhere, <laughs> making <laughs> sure. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can't leave. Yeah, okay. And then you're going to kill it, right? Yep. All right. All right, cool. So far, so good. All right. Control N. Famous last word. Uh, I think so far, so good is okay to say. Because you're not... Oh, look at this ridiculousness. I mean, I got spear. I'm fine. I have the... <laughs> I just drew my third copy of the tribesman, which actually really um, helps Jubair, but yuck. You got three of, oh, of the discounting guy. Yeah. I thought you got three of Jubair. No. Jubair, Jubair, however you say it. Jubair? All right, what'd you do? You mm. put, put the uh, spear, so Baragon's loaded up. Yep, and then I'm going to play Legolas. Got my card draw. Uh, you know, seems like your deck's working pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so I could. Hello, Rodar. Oh, hey, Rodar. Um, so I could play. Um, Jabir, no problem. I think I'm actually going to discard one of these tribesmen to give myself a resource. Play. Is this the smartest move? I could play that for two. I have six. Exhaust her. Yeah, that lets me get in two. So I'll pay for her. One, two. Exhaust, yeah. And get in Jabir. That's just there as my placeholder, so I don't have to keep digging it out. All right, <laughs> cool. All righty. Let's rock and roll. Oh... Grimbjorn. Yeah, I want to save a lot of my reaction for the next episode, but Mark Mark the marketer, you're in marketing. Use two adjectives to describe Grimbjorn. Well, the art alone just wants me to say majestic. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah? And badass, I guess? Yeah! Badass. Badass. <laughs> oh, I have so many ideas for that guy. He's gonna he's gonna be like the next spirit Glorfindel almost I think like when people go to play a game mm -hmm. they're all and gonna so be like, fighting quick, the, them. the uh the art like uh, you know at first you would think like because he's kind of far away in the frame mm -hmm. and he's just he's just standing you know nothing crazy and if you look at like all the heroes we have right here yeah they're all standing but they all kind of have some kind of badass pose um so you wouldn't think. That Grimbjorn's art would look amazing, like just me describing it to you. But oh my god, <laughs> it just looks so cool. And then the ability just makes it so much sweeter. Right. Well, I you know, wait. it's the card that was made in Caleb's likeness, so of course it's going to look like that. <laughs> uh, ah, 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 I was going to save that for the cast, but I, I couldn't. Okay, I am sending uh, eight. I am sending four. Hey, one. Okay, seems pretty good. What's this dude do? Archery X? Oh no, what's archery do? Since everyone's complaining about it. X is a number they're of different... Resource icon. Uh, so that's, that's not a, too bad. That's a three. Okay. And any damage that would be dealt to a captain enemy is dealt to this idiot instead. Okay. Good deal. So we added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we make five progress, so that's good. Cleared that. Sweet. Still no reason to really travel to the Morgul Road. Because that seems like you go there when you need to. For whatever reason you need to, yeah. All right. So I feel like we should just try to keep taking enemies if we can. Nobody has to come down. We should kill the archery guy. So let's each take one. Uh, yeah. All right. right. How are you? Oh, because you got Jubair. Yeah, or Jubair. I, I'll never get that right. But yeah. All right. Okay, archery three. Uh, Legolas can take two of them. He's not going to be doing much of anything. All right. Uh, Ooh, and your Southron refugee looks good. Yep. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right. Here we go. So I get my defense first. Baragon. He's going to do one damage to the oh, yeah. guy naturally. That's cool. Each player raises his threat by the number of enemies engaged with him. All right. All right. Uh, my guy is attacking for one. 
which <laughs> um so i'm swinging for you're gonna need both of your guys to kill your guy uh oh well yeah because bard's effect won't trigger i th no should we try to kill this range dude or this archery dude instead Oh, no, I can help. I can kill him on my own. So Legolas and Bard will team up and kill my guy. Rohan, Warhorse, are ready, Bard. And Bard can just do an attack on his own against your archer. Sweet. <laughs> so Bard, he won't... I need to keep at least two attack up, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave two attack up. All right. Jabir will discard this, which said, Deal the attacking enemy two additional shadow cards, and that is a great card to not get dealt uh, up in staging. Ugh. That's that's no fun. All right, cool. Glad Jabire defended that sucker. <laughs> All right, your attacks uh, first. Yep. Dead. Dead. Draw two cards. Draw Just one card, right? One card. Yeah. yeah. And Roll. then. All right. I swing for two. Swing for three. Three minus two, so he's dead. Sweet. All right. Good deal. Good. Good deal. Yep. Come on, Light of Eleanor. Light of Eleanor. Not... Oh, test of will. Okay, I'll take it. I got my one side quest. Oh, sweet! <laughs> yes! All right, I'm going to spend one to uh, play Elven Light, drawing a card. I will discard Elven Light. Um, Crap. Okay, I will exhaust the refugee to play the tribesman. That's me. I played um, the side quest and I threw a dagger on Bard. Sweet. Sweet. All right, so we're going to quest to get the side quest, obviously. Oh, yeah. One, two. Six, seven, eight again. And you're sending four. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the to the tower thingy. And oh no! While Orc Vanguard is in the staging area, resources cannot be spent from the resource pools of heroes that have. <laughs> it's such a weird ability the leadership, spirit, or lore icons. I think Luke must have really, really, really liked tactics. I mean, it makes sense. It's a whole vanguard of works. You kind of need just brute strength to take it out. I guess. But what if you weren't <laughs> paying? Okay. We won't get into it. It would be it would be funny if there was no tactics <laughs> on yeah. the table. Yeah, okay. I don't quite understand it. <laughs> but all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means my one and five. So, or one and four. So that's... Oh, I can't do it. I'll take control. So we need one more willpower. But we need to do a little math here. So I could boost. Uh, wait, no. I didn't send any rod. Oh, yeah. I did. No, I didn't. Nope. I can't boost it. Didn't you send the refugee? Or the refugee was used to discount him? To play the tribesman. Mm. Yeah. Well, oh, let, well. Me, let me do Elven Light. Maybe I can do a C-Stand. And get an Elrond's Council. I didn't, but oh. I got a willpower boosting card. All right, so we're short by one. Oh, you got a willpower boosting card that you can't play yet? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. I, I mean, technically, it boosts his willpower. Okay, so this guy's coming down. Is anyone at 30 yet? Almost. Oh, wait. Uh, no. Nope. nope, I couldn't have done that. I could not have done that. I can't spend. Oh, because you can't. Okay, resources. Spend spirit resources. If awesome. you want to optionally engage the vanguard, I can take care of it for you. And then <laughs> ultimate um, grief move incoming. <laughs> no. And then um, no, Baragon trust me, trust me. I'll, I'll I'll defend it. Go ahead, take it. It's eight attack. You you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> and then the sorcerer will come down to you, but Baragon can easily defend him. All right. Seems like so. A trap faint on the vanguard oh that's even better all right all right and the shadow was Ooh, glad to see this guy not not a problem what was that 
Uh, it's just Ooh, a... I love that art. Yep, that's cool art. Okay, and then uh, you're defending this idiot. Yep, he takes a damage. Uh, if this attack destroys a character, it's Baragon. Not Please. happening. All right, let's kill the big thing. So I can swing so for five. We'll swing, and Bart will swing for five. Minus two. So yeah, he's dead just with Bart and you. And, and you can kill the other guy, Legolas. So they're both dead. Well, I'll just ready up Bard and then Legolas and oh, Bard will. That's right. Yeah. Warhorse. All right, sweet. There we go. That's how that's done. And Bard is good. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna sleep him up. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> Wait. Now I can do Elven Light. Yay. All right. Yes, you can. All right. Control N. <clears throat> All right. So this round we got to take the big baddie. Elf friend. Okay. I'm going to think for a second. I have an outrider in case we need it. All right. I'm going to put Elf Friend on Kayil. I'm going to discard Elven Light so Kayil gets the resource. <laughs> Rodan, Rodar, how dare you? How does victory work in the Arkham game? Um, so I don't think I've played a scenario where it matters, really. You get to add an extra tentacle to your pouch. I don't know anything about Arkham. All right. Um, I know tentacle's bad. I think it's an automatic fail. <laughs> I'll play Kayil's headdress. One, two, three. I'll exhaust the refugee. Nope, I want to keep a test of will. Okay, I'm done. I'm going <clears> to <throat> laugh if the Vanguard comes out and you can't play it. Uh, You know what? I'm for... Oh, yeah! That's nasty. I didn't think about that. You can't play... That's like... All cards earned cannot be canceled. Yeah. Nasty. All right, I got my usual four. All right, one, two... Four, five. I'm debating. Six. I can go to seven. I think that's good. I don't want to send Glorfindel anymore. I keep my threat a little low. Where are you at right now? Just okay, 28. Yeah. But it's worth experience to level your cards up for higher versions of the cards. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. It, like, oh, that's right. Campaign mode type stuff. All right, seven and four is 11. Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy, the perfect um, followed candidate. Quest. Oh, wow, yeah. Yep, and uh, proud hunters, too. Okay, four threat. That's not what I wanted to see right now. Oh, boy. When's the last time you saw this card? Uh, when revealed, the first player, that's you, Deals two damage to a questing hero and removes that hero from the quest. Ouch! We revealed nine threat on the turn we decide not to quest very hard. You can't cancel that, can you? I can. There's much worse things, but I'll cancel it. Cause and then our threat was... we, we were doing the side quest still, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to play Hands Upon the Bow. Okay. And uh, just murder that uh, poor threader. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Ready up. Okay. Bard. Now we're good. Whew. That was kind of scary there for a second. So there's five. And we're up against... Or we quested for 11. So we make it. Okay, we have a card in the Ooh. victory display. That says, keep watch. I love this one. While this quest is in the victory display, each non-unique enemy engaged with a player gets minus one attack. Unfortunately, more zag is unique. I'll take them. It's like one of the best side quests. I, it might be, it, for me at least, I, I think it's the best side quest. I mean, other people might say different for their play style, but it's just, I love it. It's been my favorite ever since I read it. I mean, in addition to being amazing, it also has really sweet art. It does. Okay. Forest Bat. Uh, I can actually engage Marzag to help 
Make sure he dies. Um, the bat's going to attack for zero. So you're, you have to take it. That's fine. Are you sure? He's attacking yeah. for zero. Okay. I think. <laughs> and then you reveal the top card, right? Or when is it, when is his quote unquote attack? It's, Merzag's attack. It's after his attack. Okay. Uh, so you're first. Yes. We're going to have the Outrider. Just in case. Defend. Let's see. Could we defend with Baragon and just kill it? Do we need Baragon? I'm going to kill with, like, Legolas. And then Bard can help you kill. Baragon that way. Baragon can help whatever this guy might give you. Your Merzag might give you. Just in case. Well, let's see. Jabir can um, defend for four and get rid of the... Sh oh, is it non-unique? Yeah, not unique. Never mind. Yep, I like this plan. Woohoo! Goodbye, Morgo Spider. All right, and you're going to defend for me? Yep. Thank you. You will take a damage. All right, so after he attacks, after. Attacking enemy engages the next player and makes an immediate attack. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I mean, I could still defend for you, but. What the heck is this card? Sterner than steel? Exhaust a weapon or armor card attached to the defending character to cancel a shadow effect just triggered during combat. <laughs> I just like it when you put cards in your deck and then they do absolutely what they're supposed to do. You know, the next time I play this, it's just going to like be a dud for some reason, just because the stars are aligning too much. I just love <laughs> plays like that. That is amazing. Uh, the leadership one that puts allies into play. Yeah, what is that? The storm comes? That's the one I messed no, up on the podcast. Send for aid. Send for aid. Right? Thank you. That's exactly what I did on the podcast. Just like the secondhand Took Mark Mike wandering Took thing. Um, yeah, that's probably my second favorite. I like side quests. At first, I was like, yeah, I don't know. Now, I, I, I get it. Like, I get it. Well, and I don't know if Caleb did it intentionally, but I feel like a lot of the quests that come out the scenarios, you find these moments where, for instance, this one we're at right now, the rear guard, I know it was designed before, but you find these situations where you're like, oh yeah, sure. Yep. I, I, we can play a side quest, totally fine. Yep, I agree. All right, let's do some killing, you're first. Oh, did you reveal an enemy? Or did you reveal a card from Merzag? No, of course not, I forgot. Ah, that was three enemies in a row. The two shadows were also enemies. Four, if you count the bats. That's boo. What does he do? Put it in play. Engage with the defending character. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. And then I, he gets a shadow card, right? Nope. No, we're past that stage. We're past that okay. step. And since you've already done your attacks, he also doesn't attack. Actually, I don't think he would attack. Rules question. If it engaged me, would it attack? I think oh. It, I think it would attack yeah. without a shadow. I definitely I wouldn't. Right. I, I definitely yeah. wouldn't get a shadow card. I know that much. One hundred percent sure on that one. I think he would have attacked me with no shadow. But since you've already done your attacks, he's not going to attack mm -hmm. you. Okay, so that sucks because now we. Well, I, I don't know. We're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna have to think about this. You have a lot of ranged, so if we can just really pile the ranged on more zag, we might be able just to kill them both. Both. So you can maybe leave your bats. Oh yeah, the bats are fine. So let's see. If you attack with all your characters, you're effectively attacking. That's a one, four. Bard's got four attack right now. Plus two, so six, nine, twelve. And then I can attack for 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Would 20 kill both of these guys? That's 6 plus uh, 8 is 14. Oh, yeah, easy. We have 6 to spare. So you don't need to send your uh, vassal. Vassal. Sweet. I guess a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm sending... So we're, we're attacking 8... 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. So then you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. I think you can even hold back somebody else. Well, I need to draw. So I'm out of my. But I mean, if you pulled back Lego, you could just kill your bats. Let me just make sure we did it right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He already had one damage. So that's six plus two is eight, plus six carry over. Yeah, yeah, that, that does it. So you would have killed your bats first. Legolas. Yep. Drew a card. And then we swung for 14, so that applied 12 damage total. So six of it goes on the bodyguard, and then the other six goes on Marzag, and he was already damaged by one, so he's dead. And he doesn't even go into victory display. Oh, okay. All right, we advance. A little bit of math there, guys. <laughs> I didn't even have to use a dog and cat and whiskers graph. Uh, you, whiskers. <laughs> you've defeated the great Morzag and his kin. There is no time for rest as you follow Faramir deeper into the Vale. Soon you find the traitor, Elkron, blocking the road, a grimace of anger on his formerly handsome face. By a thousand foreign drakes of the Morgai. You do tempt my patience, he sneers. Add Lord Elkron to the staging area. What a dick. All right. Uh, geez, oh, Pete, these are long flavor texts. Elkron utters an ancient word, and a ghastly shriek rises from the meanest Morgul. Something cold and terrible has awakened. Something that is aware of your presence. A short distance ahead, the Uruk carrying Faramir pauses, intimidated by the carrion cry from the city. There may still be time, but first, you must deal with the traitor. Okay. Uh, he cannot leave play unless he's destroyed. If he is defeated, advance to the next stage. Sounds fun. Uh, once again, no quest points. And he has the ability, when he attacks, we place one progress onto the tower. There we go. And then when he's dealt a shadow card with no shadow effect, he makes an additional attack after this one. Deal and resolve another shadow card. Yeah, that just hmm. seems like poor design. Okay. That just seems... I like that. Well, except that he could attack 15 times in a row. There could be a lot of shadow effects. I haven't been counting, though. <laughs> that that's, would be cool. That, that's true. There is a lot of shadow effects. All right. All right. How can I get Furyal in play? I need four resources, basically, which I can easily do. Uh, oh, I forgot to do uh, Kael's headdress at the end of the round. Even after I said in that video to make sure you do it. Oh, I was about to say wait, that. Nope, but I <laughs> since I forgot, I'm not gonna do it because then I wouldn't have drawn Fury all. So let's just let's just any errors I make, we just assume I have lost that ability. I'm gonna get rid you of learn from your mistakes. Uh, that's right. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this tribesman then to put a resource there. Exhaust to play Fury all. I got two out of the three out. Ooh. Nice. Hey, you spending any resources? <laughs> Should I? No. Okay, what happens if Jabire discards his shadow card? Uh, let's read the exact wording here. If he is dealt... He's still dealt a card. So I, I would say since we don't know if it has a shadow effect or not, the force effect does not trigger. Since you can discard the card without looking at it. In fact, the rules might even say discard the shadow card without looking at it. I'm not 100% sure. But I know you don't, you don't have to look at the shadow card when you discard it. So I would say uh, he was not dealt. He was not dealt a shadow card, so then the force effect doesn't trigger. 
That seems fair. Seems to be. Like, the only time you know if it has a shadow is when you... when he actually attacks. That's how I've played other uh, quests that do that same type of shadow card shenanigans stuff. If I can discard the shadow card before he attacks, I assume that trigger doesn't matter. Makes sense to me. All right. Uh, I will quest with Fury All for one, two, three. Oh, I forgot about the headdress. Crap. Hello. One, two, three, four. Can't forget about that. No, you can't. It's like Schrodinger's shadow card. <laughs> yeah. All right. One, two, three, four. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll send nine. We'll look at the top card. It's a bodyguard. Let's get rid of that, eh? Yeah, because he's a captain, right? Yeah. Might as well. All right. All right. So I'm sending nine. And I got four. Oh, you're sending four this time? <laughs> All right, Shocking, right? Shocking. Oh, no! This was worse, but it would have showed up anyway. Each player chooses one sphere of influence. Each character a player controls that does not belong to the chosen sphere takes three damage. Ooh. You have to say spirit. Right? Because you lose Arwen. So you lose all your neutral cards too, right? This is the one that you needed to cancel. Okay, so complete. Oh, there goes Fury All. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. That just is really not a balanced card. All right, that changes things. I'm only sending five. We break even. Fine. Oh, no, we have to reveal another card, buddy. Doom 2! Each player must discard three random cards from his hand or place one progress token onto the tower. Well, it looks like I'm placing a progress. Same here. Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright, well, at least we, uh, you know, didn't raise our threat from questing stupid card all right um we might as well travel to the morgul road right since now we have progress yeah all right let's deal with this idiot all right aragon ending when and he, he takes a damage when he attacks so we place a progress he takes a damage uh are you sure we want Baragon to do it? Because I can get rid of that shadow card and sure. Let's let's just not deal with this effect at all. So goodbye. See, we won't even look at it. Boop. That's how that works. See, discard one face down card. I really think that's how it works because you're discarding a face down shadow card. So uh, he takes a hit. All right, let's kill him. One, two, Very three, four, five. <laughs> Mucho dedo. Draw card. And we advance. Whew. All right. You've delivered justice to the traitor Elkron by killing his face. You rush forward yeah, to help did. Lord Faramir, who is still tr struggling with his captors. Then another shrill cry emanates from the city. It pierces your e ears and chills your heart with a dull clangor. Clang, Clangor. Clanger? I think Clanger is right. Clanger? Clanger. Clanger Gradane? Gradane? All right. The gates of Minas Morgul open. Mounted on a great black horse, a Nazgul rides forth to claim Sauron's prize. Add Nazgul of Minas Morgul and the White Bridge to the staging area. What fresh hell is this? Okay, so we got awesome art on the Nazgul. He can't have attachments. We reduce any amount of damage dealt to him uh, to one. Oh, so your spear is going to be really good. Okay, and the <laughs> white bridge is a zero threat, zero quest point bridge. And X is the number of progress tokens onto the tower. Okay. Okay. Uh, no quest points again. Reveal one card per player from the encounter deck. 
Uh oh. Yeah. When revealed. That's fine. Oh, that that's actually perfect. And uh, surge. Place one progress token. Okay. Yeah. A bat. Ha! No questing heroes. All right. Sweet. It's good to me. So we're still in the combat phase, right? I mean, we finished our attacks. I don't know if... Hang on. Mm -hmm. I had the rules wrapped up. We're trying to think if we can nice do something the sneaky. Player becomes the active player, so... So you're still the active player. Yeah. You could you could declare yeah. attacks. I cannot. Why? You're second player. You totally Oh, act. I guess I could. Let's see. So if you yeah. discarded the Westfold Outrider. Could you pull down something and kill it? And it won't attack you? I'm wondering if you can pull down this Nazgul and swing it and uh Ping it for one. Bard could ready. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know how rule picky you want to be here. Now let's 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 live with our mistake. Say what? But I could take something. I said let's live with our mistake, but I still could take down somebody. Um. Well, no, I think mm, you're worried about questing, though. I assume, right? Kinda. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it seems like taking the Nazgul down would be a good idea. It gets fourth thread out of there. Yeah. Let's at least do that. Yeah, I know. Bard should be ready, but it's a response. Well, what do we do? Is it a forced effect on the, on the last card? Because force revol resolves before... Um... Oh, on... Um... Let's see. So, as soon as he was killed, we would have advanced, and then responses trigger, right? I think you actually have a moment right here to do your responses. If we play by the letter of the law. Don't you think? Like, uh, the, sure, why not? The quest card response thing here the passive text would trigger before we would do a response oh yeah and then we're doing the when revealed that's when all these triggered yep and now okay. we're now okay. we're back to the point where he just participated in the attack so he readies where we're we pulling him down yeah pull him down okay because i mean any chance we have just to do one damage to him without him attacking is seems like a good so can you hit him just for five? Yep, One, uh, because Bard's got a dagger. Four, four five. Yeah, perfect. Oop. Okay. And then Baragon's going to be able to ding him for one, and then the attack will ding him for one. Two turns. Two turns we should be able to kill that guy. Perfect. Okay. I think that's legal. <laughs> Trying to be legal. Now. All right. Oh, another headdress. All right. I'll discard that to get a resource on. Man, lost all my, lost all my fun stuff. Her. I'm going to play Elven Light. I don't really need a refugee right now. All right. I'm going to drop my threat by one. Oh, I forgot to do the headdress again. Grr. Okay. You know, Chad, there's this video on YouTube you should watch. I know, I made it. <laughs> it's so easy to forget. How can I add a reminder to this thing? Set reminder. Does that do anything? I don't know. Maybe if I put it way up there, then I see it better. Okay. My bad. Gosh darn it. All right, cool. Oh, nice. All right, we ready? For those of you who play on paper, by the way, put a coin or a die on your deck so you remember before you draw, do your fresh action. 
Oh, that's a good idea. Something you have to actually move to draw a card, and you're like, why is this? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's smart. That happens a lot in Magic, because there's just too many things going on. And so if you forget it, your opponent's going to be like, no, you don't right. get it. Right, 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 right. Yeah. All right, I will send 10. Oops. Four. Okay, so this is a... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're sending fourteen. That's, yeah, and that, real quick, that, actually, I'm gonna put a seems pretty dagger good. on Ao. Okay. I don't know if she's gonna need it, but we'll throw it on. Well, in case you get one of those discard and attachment you control, it's always nice. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Man, Doom Two, and another progress. I can't discard. I only have two cards. Oh, I didn't do Doom 2 the first time. I'm assuming you're going to do a progress as well? Yeah. Now it's starting to get a little dicey. All right. Uh, when revealed! This is you again. I can't cancel it, bud. <gasps> We're going to lose AON, I think. Two yeah. damage on her. Three da oh, it is two damage. I thought it was three. Sorry. No. But she doesn't get to right. ready. She's just she's just out of the quest. That sucks. Bom, bom. Oh, okay, so I'm just sending my ten. One, two, three, four, five. Oh crap. That went up. We lost the quest by one. Now here we'll discard the outrider. Take a mortal spider. I love it. Thank you. We beat the quest by two. Okay, sweet. Uh, yeah. Okay, so do they? Can I take them both? Nope. One has to come to you. Yep. I can't help it. Do it in order of worse. So that's that. 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 So what I might do, just to save us from any, save me from any shenanigans, is play that. Okay. Uh, so choose a player. That player is engaged. Enemies cannot attack a player of this face. You're choosing me, right? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Why you gotta be so mean? All right. I will defend with Shabire since he's not doing anything anyway, and discard this. All right. Let's see what these would have been. Ooh. That would have been a plus six. This would have been a plus one, and this would have been return. So, yeah. All right. So we have to ding the Nazgul at least once. Yep, so, I mean, Bard over here. Let's do It's the best way to get. So you want to kill the spider, right? Yeah, so Bard and Legolas kill the spider. Okay. Draw a card. Ready, Bard. Yep. And then... Yeah. I mean, the back can stay there. That's fine. The bar Bard and Baragon will hit the Nazgul. For one. One damage. Okay. And then I'll kill my bat. I'm going to shuffle in a Harad ally. <laughs> I'm going to choose Furia. Is it shuffle in or put the bomb in your deck? Uh, shuffle. I think it's shuffle. Oh, wait. Crap. It was topmost. Whoops. Uh, topmost would not have been... Oh, okay. I could have arranged it so she was the top. Okay, I would have done that. I didn't realize it was topmost. Okay. Good to go. All right. Yeah, okay. Come on. Ugh. No, not what I need. All right, I'll discard Elven Light. One there. Spend one. Pull it back. Come on. Ugh, gross. Nothing like drawing your refugees when you have nothing to play them with. Stand and fight would be good. That's how the deck's supposed to work. You use three copies. I have three copies of Stand and Fight to play these Harad allies in my discard pile. 
Mm. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that card. I haven't even seen it. Yeah, I haven't drawn it yet. It's frustrating. I mean, it's not bad losing your hot allies if you can play that event and yank them back, but jeez. Okay, I will, just to get more bodies on the table, do that. I'm done. All right. We're good? Yep. All righty. Uh, I'm going to quest it for one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sending 12. We got to beat this. Uh, we got to make sure we make three I'm progress. I'm sending Are you uh, sure? four, er, four, but the vassal is also going to go to the quest. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, and then what's this? Ah, that's not good. Oh, what? Oh, one second, guys. Do I have You're a good. what? No. Uh, so we placed the progress. So I did that. Mm -hmm. Surge. Eh. Oh, crap. Until the end of the round, he gets plus one for each character. Each character? Wow. Not currently committed. Oh. That's two for me. Two, three for me. Huh. That's a thing. Well, it's minus one because of uh, keep watch. So, you know. Woo <laughs> okay, so 7, 10, 13, 12. We sent 16, so we made three progress. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Oh, thank goodness. We just made it. Uh, remove. Let's deal, a, let's deal a damage to a bat. I'm kidding. All right. We'll get rid of that. Travel here. Did you do damage to the Nazgul? No. Oh, did you want to? Yeah, we might be able, because we just had to kill the Nazgul, right? Oh, shite. Yeah. I was thinking we had to clear this bridge. Who cares? No. Oh, okay. So we're just going to we're gonna, we're gonna uh, kill the Nazgul this round. Is it? Because he's going to take one damage from the effect, and then ping by Baragon, oh. and hopefully just... Well, okay, well, you're absolutely right, and... Again, reading. It's a thing. I just assumed it was non-unique. A non-unique enemy. Like Oh, the location? Yeah. But, huh? uh, yeah, this is... this this. Uh, we have a chance here. Okay, so I will take the spider. Because, you know, I'll just chump with Shubair. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine at this point. Okay, so Jabir defends. He's defending for three against eight. Doesn't look good. He gets plus one. All right. And if it's undefended, place one progress on the tower. It's not undefended. So Jabir is dead. He is dead then. Okay, Baragon, right? Yep. He's going to defend the Nazgul. He defends. He takes a hit. For damage. Oh, God, what is it? <laughs> Attacking enemy gets plus one for each progress token onto the tower. <gasps> it's so thematic! Eowyn's in play. <laughs> it's a Nazgul riding a fell... Oh, wait, no. Is he riding a horse? Oh. It's not as thematic as I thought. It's the pregame. Yeah. Yeah. And then That's an awesome card. Legolas. Just in case there's any undefended shenanigans, Legolas is going to defend the bat. Okay. Bad attacks for zero. Nothing. Thank God we never saw this card. Honestly, if we'd revealed this card, I would have just. Oh, I, that's I would, the one that just. Yeah, I would have just. Out a bunch of cards. I would have just acted ignorant and like misread it. And <laughs> just said, oh, it just must mean doomed three, and the rest of this is just random words that don't mean anything. Okay. Uh, so we have to uh, do five. Can you hit this guy for yep. five? We're not, I am no man, or no man am I. Yep. I mean, that just seems like what you need to do with that deck. And he is dead then. I think it's a ready bear gun. Or bard. <laughs> you want to kill a spider? 
Oh, I couldn't. Sure. I couldn't have. Oh well, you could have. You could have uh, attacked first. I would have helped you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just just. I to, have to help you attack. Just to kill it. Ready up. Yep. No man of I. Blah blah blah. Defend. Yep. Well, yeah. No man, no man of I could have done it herself. Sweet. All right. Well, we did it. We won. Seven progress. We don't even have to clear the bridge. Which also seems like a weird design. Like normally. It's like the players cannot defeat well, this. Well, wow. I guess. I guess the Nazgul came at you from the bridge, so maybe that makes more sense. Yeah, so I guess the idea, so they're taking Faramir to Minas Morgul, right? Right. So I guess this is like a, yeah, it's like a big showdown of the bridge. It's kind of cool. Yeah, and the the more threat on the bridge and the more progress is like kind of like how far away Faramir is being taken along the bridge. So that's why you don't really need to clear it. It's just like This is a fun quest. It's not I like bad. I mean, it's just got a couple really unbalanced cards. But we still managed to win. I mean, but a couple of them seem a little unfair <laughs> if you're not playing a mono deck or tactics. It's like, what? Yeah, I, well, the Vanguard, kind of weird, actually. That, that came out of nowhere. Right. You know what I like? Just thematically. Yeah. Hmm. I like the the captain thing where you reveal a bodyguard. I wish we had more of that, because it could even just be a little wimpy bodyguard where it's like a three-hit point bodyguard. But you're like, mm -hmm. crap, I can't kill the guy I need to. I got to get through this bodyguard, which makes perfect sense, and it's kind of cool. I haven't seen that. I, I mean, I don't think I've seen that. Since I, I started playing, I think, around you, the voice of Isengard. I don't think I've seen that effect, really, at all. No, me either. That's why I, I like it, yeah. Well, uh, so we got a victory, which is great. I am Ooh. bummed that Jeez oh Pete's. I didn't draw Oh look, next card was Stargazer and then there was two standard fights in the top five, so then I could have started having some fun. There's Thanks, my light of Balinor. <laughs> Virtual high fives. There's my Ziggy Stargazer combo. There's Yazan. Ah, eh, this deck worked okay. I, I didn't get to flood the board like I was hoping, but it was all right. It was all right. So I have no, a... No, you, you did flood the board. It was just that one uh, Master's Malice took you out. Yeah, that's true. You had three allies you lost, right? Yeah, yeah, I did, didn't I? God dang. This deck is fun, though, when you can get the stand and fight thing going, so you're discarding a card just to play it with all your spirit resources, because uh, if you get the Ziggy Stargazer out, then you're just dumping spirit resources they don't have to be spirit of course but if you're just planning on doing standard fights and just discarding crap just to play it again and yeah it's fun i'm going to publish it after i get off the stream and i will add the link to the description there we go <laughs> so yeah if you missed it at the beginning of this clip we played the uh video it's a new thing we're adding to the uh youtube channel and uh, I think it's uh, it's going to be really fun. And anyone has any suggestions for other little video clips like that that we can make? Um, well, of course, it's up to Mark, but we'll be open to all Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it gives us ideas on where to take things. Like, would people rather see short deck spotlights or do they want to see uh, card interactions? Because all I'm doing is just moving images around on the screen. So if people just want to see, like, a scenario play out, you know, that's something that could be done. You know, whatever people find valuable, let us know. Yeah. Yeah, like tech against quest type stuff or whatever. Yeah, it could be like how to beat the Morgul Veil. <laughs> yeah. And then we just do like a like three-minute video about, yeah. I'll just take screenshots and uh, put it on. You can make it into a video. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this was great. It won't even move. It'll just be a still image. No <laughs> audio. <laughs> hey, Mark, our video is up to four views. yoo -hoo! That's three more than I thought we'd get. All right. <laughs> uh, this was great Mark thank you for joining me and thank you for all you do behind the scenes he does a ton you guys you have no idea how much work he does it's a ton oh thank you yep yep this was great three W's in a row I'm pumped we're on a good streak here and um yeah that's all I got I'm tired like I said my daughter hospital this morning long day so I'm gonna be going no to I'm with you soon. too I am tired as well Excellent. Well, thank you, everybody who joined, and we will catch you later next week. I think I'm twitching with Big Foam Loaf. He had to cancel this week because his brother came in town. Um, so next week, I saw be... him yesterday. In person? 
Yeah, he showed up. We were going to a new store. If anybody's in the D.C.-ish Columbia area in Maryland, called Gritty Goblin Game. Uh, it's closer to a lot of the D.C. I guess there's like a capital area LOTR group, so it's easier for them to come up. And I sat down. I was like, big fun loaf? Because I met him once before. Yeah? And I recognized him, and he was like, yep. Yeah, we played um, uh, the crossings. I'm so jealous of that kind of stuff. It like, was it was good. Like we we were we were at the moment where we were struggling, and it was like, no, we're not going to win, but let's play it out. And then we kind of felt confident, like, okay, may, maybe. And, and then we got squished. It was yeah. Oh, you oh <laughs> you did, quest. You did win, or you didn't? Squ- we did not. We got oh, you got squished. Like, we got squashed. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, we got squished, squashed, whatever. Yeah, I got you. You know, I'm just so jealous. I don't live near any players or game stores because i i have gen con that's what i that's my one and only time i get to play with people in real life so hey it's a few months away so jelly so, you're downhill now right it's it's all downhill to gen con we're, yeah. we're past the halfway point yeah so for sure for sure and everybody is welcome at my house open invitation to the entire internet to come stay at my house and play lotr with me that, He's that like, please that, that won't <laughs> that won't ever come back and haunt me <laughs> it's true though it's like these cards are just sitting in my closet lonely well you know chad this is a one to four player game you could play oh no you do play paper like one-handed solo don't you okay. you have to redo your campaign after all yeah i know uh occasionally i do it's just the setup and everything takes so long and honestly sometimes i only have like 25 minutes like okay, everyone's coming home in twenty five minutes, and it's just not enough time to set everything, get everything out of the closet, and set it up in a spot where none of the kids are gonna find it and destroy it. So yeah, and it's a hard game to pause. I tend to, I feel like if I ever pause the game, I come back and I'm like, wait, did I already quest? Yep. Did I do shadows? And it's just yeah. So you just I, have to like mix the whole thing. Yep, that's why I usually end up playing on Octagon. But if I had a play group, I think I'd be playing with my real cards more. But right now, since I have no real reason to get them out an octagon exists i'm just like i guess i'll just play an octagon anyway all right folks yep have a great night and uh we'll catch you real soon bye-bye good night